Hey guys, what's going on? Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. Back here with another episode of uh, What's the Right Shot? Oh my gosh, we have a special <laughs> guest here today, the great Maichi Dash Abel. Hey, how are you fans? <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, dogs to the dog park? Yeah, I'm going to go pretty soon. Okay, all right. But I thought, okay. you know, Just kind of make, make a little cameo appearance here. Just, Just a little, but hey, I'm out. Okay. See ya. Okay, mixed doubles partner extraordinaire mixed troubles. mixed troubles guys anyway um before we were beautifully interrupted uh, what i've got for you in this episode of what's the right shot is uh i want to want to show you a little technique on uh the backhand return of serve kind of the flat sort of semi top spin uh backhand return of serve and there's a couple things that you got to do on this i'm going to point them out in this video coming up uh, but these are, you know, it's not that tough to do if you understand the fundamentals. So here they come. So guys, yeah, I want to show you, just I want you thinking on a couple of uh, stroke techniques here for your backhand drive return to serve. And... Let's actually take this back a little bit. I'm just going to go through the whole thing. What the heck? Um, you know, what I think about right here is really soft hands, right? I want, because my whole goal with this return to serve is to identify as quickly as possible the direction of the incoming serve. And as soon as I do that, first thing I want to do is I want to get my shoulders turned, right? Uh, if I don't get out of this position here, there's not a whole lot I can do uh, and, and certainly never ever get set up for a backhand drive. So the first thing is always get to a sideways position. And the only way you can do that was, is with soft hands on the racket because in your ready position, let's take this back a hair, um, in this position right here, if you're squeezing tight on the racket, there's just no way that you'll ever, you can, you know, you can identify the direction, but you'll never get turned because the hands are so tight. When you turn, make sure that you keep your hands relaxed. They stay around waist high. So that worst case, you know what happens? If this serve comes in kind of hot and deep like this, that uh, if you're you know prepping up here as if you're going to slice, this is a tough ball because this ball is not getting is not getting up that high. And so I'm trying to take it early, number one, because I want to I want to kind of take it early to so that if this guy goes. Uh, I can get it cross court and make the uh, and, and make the poach tough. But if it goes too early from here, I can just bunt this thing up the line. Uh, you know, once 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 I recognize that. Now from here, the the the, the whole key is you got to commit to staying flat against the ball and just finishing the stroke, right? So uh, once you finish the stroke, then you give yourself a chance for a little top, a little dip, and get that ball through. So um, those are kind of the key things that I think about is, you know, number one, soft hands as the toss goes up so that I can turn, uh, take a step forward into a split, get some forward momentum, and then when you turn, just turn the shoulders. You don't need to go racket back. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure, the racket's pointed back, but you know what? My hands are still in front of me. They're not, they're, you know, I haven't straightened my arm behind me. And then from here, just completely commit to a medium paced finish. You don't need to go hard. Um, you know, you don't need to go full swing speed here because what's happening, right? You've got forward momentum and you're flattening the racket face against the ball and uh, you don't need to add power now. Uh, you've got all that going for you and then just completely commit uh, all the way out to the finish. All right, so uh, same situation, right? Um, I am going to soft hands, and this time the serve from Paul goes pretty far wide, but because I've stepped in, and even though I'm really reaching out here, I've committed to sort of make sure the racket's flat against the ball, and uh, I, get pretty, I get pretty fortunate on this. I get a great angle, and, uh, you know, it's down low. Even if it comes back to me, we're, we're, we're in good shape. So... Those are kind of the fundamentals on this on this backhand flat sort of you know semi topspin return to serve, 
is that um, soft hands, and then you are going to step forward, and even on this wide ball, this ball is really, you know, it's out there pretty wide, and you can still get the racket head around the ball, get that angle you want, and uh, and there you have it. So here's what I'd love for you to do right now. Go down below the video um, and just leave a comment and let me know what's on your mind with uh, either one of these returns to serve. I'll play them for you both in real time and then I'll also slow-mo. Uh, so any comments, any questions down below, let me know. All right, thanks very much. And there you have it. Uh, it's really important. If you want to learn how to drive this return to serve, this backhand return to serve, whether it's cross court or whether it's sort of that inside out from the deuce court, if you're a right-handed player, number one, you got to have soft hands because if you're, if you're clenching on that racket at all, there's no way you'll ever get out of that ready position where you're facing forward and, and get fully turned for your forehand or backhand return to serve. And then thing two is you got to make sure that you do not um, – you don't really go racket back, that you just keep that racket sort of your side. And, uh, and, and, and because when you go too far back, the racket typically gets up too high, and then you're going to be committed to more of a, you know, sort of a downward slice. That's okay, but if you want to learn how to drive it, you got to keep the hands down about waist height. Uh, guys, a couple things. Number one is if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, the Web Tennis YouTube channel, would love to have you as, as a subscriber. Uh, number one is you'll get notified as soon as uh, I publish any new tennis instructional uh, video. It is free, so there's no charge for that, but it really helps me in terms of when I've got more subscribers. YouTube thinks I'm, I'm a cool guy. I, I don't know. but uh, So it helps me in terms of getting more reach out to tennis players, so I'd appreciate uh, you subscribing if you uh, haven't already done so. Thing two is uh, top spin serve. I've got a free top spin serve uh, course for you. How to quickly crack the top spin serve code. It's right down below in the description area. There's a link. Again, it's free. Just click it and you'll put in uh, uh, your first name and email uh, address and I'll get that course right over to you. And then the third thing is I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. Anything sort of brought up from this episode of what's the right shot for you yeah, in, in terms of maybe you've got you know another question or some comments about that backhand, so the flat semi topspin return to serve, or anything else that's going on with your game. You know, is there something that's really bugging you that you just cannot figure out right now, whether it's singles, whether it's doubles, stroke technique, whatever it is, put it down in that comment section. I love to read and respond to your comments. On that, guys, thanks for being with me today. And as always, got to get out there and help someone else. Have a spectacular day.